Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be making a low poly burger in Blender. So this is a pretty simple tutorial but um, it's got some good outcomes so let's get started. Open up Blender and just move that over here. And pop. So I'd be showing you the modeling process today. So first of all, I'm just going to delete the default light and we won't be needing this cube. First thing to do is we're going to make the bun. So to do this, we'll go into front view and then orthographic mode. We'll then shift eight and we're going to add an icosphere. Now go into edit mode on this icosphere and hit Z wireframe mode. We're going to hit B. We're going to select half like that and hit X to delete vertices. Now we have half. But it's got a massive hole in the bottom. So to fix this, we're going to select every, we're going to go into wireframe mode again, select these vertices like that, and hit F to fill. And now we have a nice um, closed in half icosphere. Now this is where your um, personal opinion goes in. Now you can have your bun with a really quite pointy top, not pointy, but like um, on a steeper slope, or you can have yours quite flat like that. I think I might go for a more pointy top today. You could do this by just scaling on the Z axis. I'm going for a pointy top. There we go. So that's my top of my bun. And now for the bottom, I'm just going to shift D, rotate on the X axis by 180 degrees, pull it down. And for the bun, I just get my wireframe mode and select that point, drag it out, select that point, drag it out, select this point, drag it up. And scale. That's the bottom of my bun done. So, so far, so good. Let's move these both up. Now, the first thing we're gonna make is the lettuce. So I added a plane there. I'm gonna subdivide it multiple times till it looks somewhat like that. I'm then going to add a displace modifier. Select this mod texture and we're going to select the clouds texture. Now while I'm at it I've just realized I haven't changed the cycles render so go and do that. Back in the displace we're just going to lower the strength somewhat like 0 0.4 and we're going to add our decim decimate modifier just to give it a more low poly look. Back into the front view and we're going to push this down on our bun like so. Now we're going to make our patty to do this. We're going to add a cylinder, give it uh, five vertices, I think. Scale it down on the Z axis, scale it down. We've got quite a beefy patty today. Ha, <laughs> beefy patty. Okay, so around that. And there's nothing special done to this um, patty. Um, it's really perfectly fine how it is currently. Now the next thing is the cheese. Again this is done by using a plane. Uh, so we're going to move this to the second layer so we can look at it more detailed. So I'll go into top view and what I do is I'm going to hit Z, Control R. I'm going to move that there. Control R, move one there, control R, move one there, control R, move that one there. So we've got this, um, these squares on the end of our um, plane here, square here, and so on, square here, etc. Now what we're going to do to make the cheese is first of all, we're going to select this top face face and we are literally just going to extrude it slightly up like so. So 
so our cheese has some sort of depth to it. Now the first step is we are going to go into wireframe mode and select these, this square. Now we rotate it first on the x-axis and on the y-axis like that so it's bending over so it looks like it's melted and we do the same for the rest. Rotate on the x-axis, rotate on the y-axis doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look like it's melting. And view the back when it comes... Oh, let's see, let's get rid of that. View... Where is it? Back. Ah, oh, control, not bad. Rotate on the X. Rotate on the Y. looking good and the last one rotate on the X rotate on the Y looking good now hit M to move back onto our burger and we want to just sit it nicely on our burger. Now what I like to do is I like to select all our elements of our burger, not the bun though, shift D to duplicate and stack it on top. Move the bun up a bit, twist the cheese, lettuce is a bit too big. And it's looking really cool. Now, I've just realized I'm going to scale those two down. Lift that one. There we go. Rotate it so it's got a bit of variation, and that is the modeling done. Now you can add little icosphere C's on top, but I'm not going to do for mine because I like how it looks. Um, and you can add your own materials, but that's basically how we're going to model our burger. So patty, cheese, lettuce, etc. You can add tomatoes as well. I can. I think I've got tomatoes in this one. Yeah. In this one, I've got little tomatoes that you can just see, and they're just simple um, eight vertices cylinders um, with a red material, nothing too special. But that's how you model a burger in uh, Blender. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll catch you in my next video.